Hello, this is Crenstar, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the Scenic Hybrid Instrument thing that's uh, in... Uh, I know it's in Reason Plus. I'm not sure if you have to buy it extra if you don't get the Reason Plus and you just buy the base Reason model or um, um, if it if it's uh, included or extra. Uh, it's in with me. I like it. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate it a bit today. Um, <clears throat> got on Twitter on... on um, Somebody was posting about how the latest craze is like morphing samples and stuff like that. Uh, it's evident within um, Native Instruments. They keep on putting out uh, this 25 examples or latest uh, uh, contact instrument. And it's uh, pretty much you can see an A side and a B side. They got a balance that allows you to do things like morph and stuff like that. So it gives it a sound. So as you can see, as I was playing with the knobs, it would go from one sample to the other. You could pick multiple samples. Reason has something like that inside it with this scenic hybrid instrument. Um, you can you can pick uh, samples through the the pat or you can pick patches in here, and it can play um, using the the same quad note generator. I have something set up same, the same way, and I got two samples. I got a user sample, which sounds um, pretty bad of of uh, somebody's uh, recording on a on a uh, um, uh, one of those IVR systems where you have to you listen to a recorded recorded message on the phone uh, just done wrong. Uh, and then a bassoon is on the other side, but you can you can pick any any type of patches. Same on both sides. Uh, and then mesh between or morph between them. Um, one of the cooler parts that are is is not as detectable in the contact instruments. You could probably do it when you mess around with the the inner settings, and you got these couple of knobs here that you can use to um, get some really random stuff here. But um, aside from that, there's minimal effects that comes with the contact itself, and then a, a sequencer, and then you got your macros. Um, uh, scenic has a high, the scenic hybrid has something like that when you hit edit and that's when you get into the really good stuff of uh adding in macros and and using the reason patches behind it to alter using cvs to uh change different inputs uh you could also have something set up within your automation for this balance here uh you could probably use a combinator or you can over override or, or do an automation down at the bottom to flip between the two uh sounds or you can automate it uh i imagine using the uh, combinator which if i were to to say um do the combinator here and then uh grab the uh the knob here so let's do the scenic and then the, the first control and then the target would be the balancer right here so i could literally And then, and then now that that's that's balanced there. If I'm not mistaken, this control CV's got a balancer, so you grab something that also uh, throws uh, random CVs in there. Like, oh, I don't know, this player here, um, like this note goes up to here. You see the knob moving a little bit. That's just because probably the note CV is going higher than the uh, control CV here. 
Um, so we can try pitch. There's there's other ways of generating or getting. Getting through the balancing here uh, when it's doing it, so. Also, you can, uh, this, this uh, um, instrument also has the ability to play granular samples or um, turn it off to play the entire position. So you can mess with the effects on, on both engines. You can add echo and reverb and mess with that. And then the master effects, uh, add in a compressor, add in these macros here. Those macros can be adjusted here. So you're going to do a little fine tuning. Um, pretty neat, cool little device. I've used it uh, several times to, to try to mess with the, uh, the samples that I've um, um, played with, especially like this one right here. Um, although you could do... As you can tell, a couple of cool patches to do with it. Um, when when trying to use your own user samples, I found out that basically um, this doesn't work really well for how to load up samples. You have to go into the editor, you got to go to the engine, and then just drag. Usually, drag and drop or hit this user sample and just grab this one. Yeah, that one's really actually really good. like that.
I think I screwed up my other side of it, but uh, that's uh, an example of how you can um, use scenic hybrid instrument and, and uh, reason um, to to get your own mixture of, of uh, instruments like they are doing right now within contact. Um, hope you liked the, the video. Thank you.